Hello everyone. It is time for market update again. Today I'm going to talk about challenges, opportunities, and strategies again in the current marketplace in California. We possibly already know the challenges. So the same challenges remain. Supply is low and home price has been growing really fast. So after the single family home medium price set record in March, in April, the medium price breached the record again and set over $800,000 for single family home across the state. And homes are selling really fast. Um, averagely, homes are sold possibly within a week and seven days. However, there are still a lot of opportunities. The mortgage rate still remains low, hovering around 3%. And there are some other good signs for more supplies coming onto the market. By the end of May, total active listing have been increasing for the past six weeks. According to the most recent housing sentiment survey conducted by California Association of Realtors, 72% of the respondents think this is a good time to sell their home, meaning potentially more homeowners will put their homes on the market. Even though the high lumber price has been putting pressure on new construction, the new construction has been growing for the past few months. And the extra good news is that the construction growth rate were highest in the area of shortest commute. So hopefully down the road, you do not have to travel far to buy newly constructed homes. I also have a message for my renter friends. If you are still waiting on the sideline and wonder if you should continue to rent or purchase your home, so rents are increasing nationwide and according to a recent update rents can go back to the pre-pandemic level in la area later this year so if your finance is ready i am here to help you to explore whether it will benefit you more to purchase your home instead of waiting for your landlord to increase the rent i have spring code strategies for buyers in different market updates. So today I want to highlight a few strategies that I have mentioned and some strategies I haven't mentioned. So number one is do not wait and take actions um, as soon as you can. So don't wait till the weekend to go to see the home you like to see if you do have time after work to see it during the week. And if you do see a home you like and you think it can be a potential to purchase i usually say if you like it 80 percent take the next step and make that offer i mean the worst scenario is you gotta know but you also get an opportunity to say no if later on you do find this is not what you like so put it in an offer to at least win your chance to decide whether this is a yes or a no um, some other new strategies that actually have, been be have become more common is waiving contingencies. So there are certain risks involved in this strategy. So make sure you consult your realtors and real estate attorney to see how this can impact you. However, uh, a lot of the buyers are choosing to waive different contingencies to make their offer more competitive. Here are two things I don't think I mentioned before. One is being flexible of the timeline and escrow period. Uh, a lot of the sellers are looking for purchasing their replacement homes. So that makes the timeline a little bit tricky than a straightforward selling of a vacant home. So if you can work with the seller side to either allow them more time to shop for their next home or allow them to rent back, that can potentially uh, win them over and get you a winning offer. And the other strategy is to work with a local lender that will allow um, you and the seller side to get updates in a more timely fashion. Uh, and typically local lender also know the local market a little bit better and potentially can advocate for your uh, loan qualities and loan credential a little bit better. 
Seller friends, even though this is a seller's market, it is still important to pay attention to fundamentals that can help you achieve the best value for your home. Number one is to price your home right. Overpriced homes are still sitting on the market, even though homes are sold averagely within seven days. This makes it extremely important to work with a realtor who know the market and pricing well, who will show you the data and information that can help you to price your home right. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me and you can find um, ways to contact me in the description. And here we go. This is market update 20. I hope everyone enjoy their week and have a wonderful weekend.